Hi, I'm Josh Tebow, training specialist with Legrand. One of the most important parts of installing any OnQ system is properly terminating your CAT5. Let's walk through the steps. Terminating your category cable starts off with having the right tools. You'll need a category cable stripper, the proper type of connector, the crimping tool for the connector, and a wire tester. Begin by stripping the cable using a category stripping tool. Simply insert the cable into the stripping tool about two inches and spin the stripper. Then remove the stripping tool and pull the installation off. You'll notice that there's a strip string inside the cable. You'll want to cut that off with a pair of wire cutters. Next, you'll want to separate and straighten each of the pairs inside the cable. Start by flaring each of the cables out. Give them a slight twist backwards and then using a screwdriver, you can insert the screwdriver between the pairs and just pull the pairs straight. Next, flare the cable in the right order following the T568A color standard. White, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, brown. Use your thumbs and index fingers to create a ribbon cable, like so. and then cut the cable on a slight angle using your wire cutters. Next, insert the cut end of the cable into the RJ45 connector, making sure that the tab is away, and then push the cable all the way so that the insulation is in the retention slot. Check your cable to make sure none of your color code has changed, and then insert the connector into your CAT5 crimper. Simply squeeze, and it crimps and cuts the wires all at one time. Once you've terminated both ends of the cable, you want to map your cable and make sure that it tests out correctly. First, insert one side into the remote unit, and then the other connector into the testing device itself. Press the test button, and what you're looking for is the green pass light. If you see a red light on your tester, then you have an error in your cable that needs to be corrected.